As part of a series of videos on a new project I'm currently working on, we are today going to take a look at a keyboard. Not this keyboard though, which is the one I use on a daily basis. For this new project, I needed a keyboard that was small enough to be portable, but with large enough keys to be usable. So today we're going to look at this Zito Foldable Bluetooth Keyboard with Integral Touchpad. If we open up the box, we will see contained within we have a small foldable keyboard. Once unfolded, the keyboard has a reasonable size, with a touchpad at the side. The keyboard can fold and has inbuilt magnets to hold it together. The keyboard is reasonably light and will quite happily fit into your pocket without any issue. We have a micro USB charging port and a cable is supplied. There is an on off switch and a paving button to pave it to your Bluetooth computer, phone or tablet. It does come with a set of instructions, which although minimalistic, have enough to get you working. Once you have paired the keyboard with your device, you can then begin to use it. You can use the command button on the keyboard, in this case in Windows, to open up an explore window. The mouse pad can then be used to move that around the screen. Or to be maximised. If you wish to right click, then it's using two fingers. So the mouse pad does accept gestures. A one finger click is your left mouse button. Using two fingers gives you the right mouse button. A two finger slide uses the mouse wheel. And a two finger stretch can be used for zooming. like so. So all in all, it's an ideal little keyboard. It has a function key and function buttons at the top. And it has settings for iOS, Android and Windows. However, going by the instructions, there is no touchpad function for the device under the iOS system. So how good are the buttons on the keyboard? Despite being such a small keyboard, there's a reasonable amount of travel on the keys. And the keys themselves are also of a reasonable size. However, to manage your expectations from such a small keyboard, it's never going to be as good as a full-size keyboard. But in some things you have to make compromises. This is much easier and much more portable than a full-size unit, and should suit this particular project well. So I'll leave a link in the description below to the Amazon website for where I purchased this small portable keyboard. Hopefully you'll find this useful, but that's it for today. Thank you for watching.